So today we are going to make a starlight headliner for the inside of my wife's razor. So we're completely like rewiring everything, uh, new uh, suspension uh, on the on the front. It's going to be actually the same radius rods on the back, just getting them, everything all cleaned up, polished up. So how I am doing this is she obviously has an aftermarket Whaley cage and I had him put these extra tabs in there with these nuts on the back. So that will allow us to have like a false ceiling in here. Um, the wiring will just run up. I've already got it ready to go. And she'll have a starlight headliner. Also her entire interior is all like Louis Vuitton. So the roof panel has already been made. It's already been bent to, for the front. I just popped all the holes in it with my plasma cutter. So now we're gonna wrap it and then lay all the stuff inside there, the little thingies, I don't know, the clear tube thingies. All right, that turned out pretty decent. I'm the world's worst when it comes to like wrapping anything. I have no idea how y'all tint windows or any of that shit. Um, but anyways, got the wrap on there, it looks pretty decent. Uh, so we're gonna, I already hit it with a heat gun quite a bit, so it did lay down pretty nice, but uh, got the, uh, I don't know, the little clear things, whatever you wanna call them. We're gonna start poking them through all these little holes that I that I made. And yeah, let's get started on that. All right guys, well I found out really quickly that I got a 150 piece kit. So I thought that meant 150 holes. Apparently I was, I'm either really horrible at counting or I was wrong because I put 150 holes in it, in this plate. And I have a lot left. I actually went ahead and drilled another 40 holes thinking, oh, that'll get me closer. No, I'd say this is <laughs> uh, a lot. I have a lot more. I would say there's, I don't know, I used maybe a little over half. So uh, I know what you're thinking. Just pop some more holes in it with plasma. Well, I can't because I have the damn um, wrap on the bottom. So now I'm drilling the holes. Well, that was miserable. It took way longer than I thought. I mean, it was like I just put on a podcast really and just went to town on it. But there's way more than like 150 on there. And something I did learn, I kind of got like a rat's nest going on here. It started out really nice, but I started trying to like put multiple in at the same time. Like I'd start like, I don't know, 10 of them and then just reach underneath there and pull them all through. And that's how I got it all knotted. If I would have stayed one at a time pulling them through, it probably would have looked really nice. But anyways, that'll be okay. I have a decent amount of, I have like, there's a gap here, you know, for the roll case tube that's uh, inch and three quarter. So it should be pretty sweet. I'm gonna put the unit like right here. Um, yeah, I, I think it's gonna be turn out pretty awesome. Just glued all, I put a bunch of like little dots of glue everywhere. All right, we got it in there. Fit up in there really cool. Um, it's kind of tough to see, but uh, they're in there. Flip the camera around, this camera's a little bit better. So I went ahead and cut them off because they were just hanging down, you know, super low. I uh, just trimmed them off while the glue dries. After glue dries, I'll go in there and cut them all the way off flush. All right, so there we are, I've turned them on. Uh, I didn't, like I said, I didn't trim them off yet. I'm gonna let it dry. Uh, I'm completely redoing all of her wiring. Uh, so anyways, I just put a, a quick jumper wire from, from there to the fuse. But anyway, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty cool, man. All right, guys, got all of them trimmed off there. Turned out pretty cool. I definitely think she's gonna be happy with that. It's got all kinds of different settings and stuff on it, but I'll let her play with all that crap. My part of this project is done. Let me know if there's anything uh, that you got. If you have any questions or whatever, just hit me in the comment section. And my next like kind of cool modification, I got lots of modifications gotta get done to this thing, but my next one that's pretty cool is I'm going to fabricate a powered seat for her because if you don't know, um, her name is, I call her sweet, I call my wife Sweet and Low. We named this Razor Sweet and Low for her. But uh, because she's five foot none with a big fat ass, it's pretty sweet. So she's sweet and low to the ground. That's that's uh, that's where the whole sweet and low thing came from. But anyways, she's super short. So I'm going to try and fabricate a powered seat in here so she can run it forward and up. Because uh, we, I mean, we tried stuff on the pedals and stuff. It just wasn't working. So um, anyways, stay tuned till next time.